I see questions about uh, shoes being not wide enough on um, my running forums. And so a runner wants uh, to find a shoe that's wider. Uh, it's not all, it's not just runners. There are a lot of people that are on their feet all day, like nurses and um, wait staff uh, that use uh, running shoes uh, to wear because they're a lot more comfortable than traditional shoes. So people generally looking for a wide or an extra wide shoe. Um, now sometimes shoes are sold as wide uh, or you'll get somebody from a store that recommends a particular shoe that's tight when you put it on but they'll say that it'll loosen up with time um, and and that can be a problem too they also the store sometimes recommends sizing up so if you need an 11 they'll suggest getting an 11 and a half and that does work because uh, it does feel wider because um, your foot is further back in the shoe where and everything else is proportionally larger but then your your foot may slide back and forth so my general uh, readings of the forum say there are three aspects of wide feet there's the toe box so that's this area down here and you have the shape of the toe box some shoes cut fairly sharply along the side here and some are really rounded so they'll go out like this and if your small toes are relatively long you'll generally want a more rounded toe box. Um, there, shoes, shoes back in the 1990s and the 2000s used to be a lot more round. So the pinching on the small toes never used to be a problem, but somewhere around 2005 to 2010, they made a sharper cutoff in my yes is to save material costs so the one of the aspects is how round the toe box is another aspect is the height of the toe box uh, sometimes you like to wiggle your toes up and down and um, having some extra room is nice so uh, that's not specifically width but um, that is one aspect of comfort the next, next aspect is midfoot volume. So midfoot volume refers to this area here. Now, a shoe can be wide enough at the base or at the sole, but if you have high arches, then your foot has to fit in this level of volume. And if there's not enough volume then it may feel like the shoe is not wide enough because this area will feel tight. With me, what happens is I get red marks on the top of the shoes if there's not enough midfoot volume. This is a case where sizing up helps because if your, sh if your foot would normally fit here and you size up, then your foot would move back here so this is higher up so there's more midfoot volume if you size up but then you have the problem of your shoes you know sometimes moving sliding back and forth in the shoe you can often fix that with lacing but it's still nicer not to have an ex excessive amount of space in uh, lengthwise and the third aspect is platform um, I don't have a picture of uh, the bottoms of the shoes here, but uh, let's see. Here's a good shoe. I think they should have the bottom. Oh, here we go. So this is the Fresh Phone More, and this is the bottom of the shoe. And as you can see, the platform is huge so there's a lot of stability now some shoes 
market themselves as wide, but the platform is the same as their regular shoes. And what they do is they increase the midfoot volume. So they give you more space, but the platform is the same. And the feeling you'd get over there is that the sides of your feet kind of spill over because there's nothing under them. So that is an aspect is, you know, getting a big enough, getting an extra wide or a wide platform to go along with your extra wide or wide shoe. So why do I have uh, New Balance up here? Well, I only buy New Balance shoes because a lot of their models are an extra wide. A lot of manufacturers don't even make extra wide shoes, so I don't even bother looking at them because I can never get my feet into the shoe. Uh, it won't even fit. It's not that it's tight, it's just it, it won't go into the, sh the shoe. The reason I like New Balance is, and I'm talking about men's, is that you can get extra, extra wide, or 6E. So uh, they have uh, the, this shoe, which you can use for running. These are, this is a walking shoe. The 1540, and I have uh, a pair of these in the basement in 6E. This is a, a running shoe, but it's a stability running shoe. They don't have 6E in their modern their modern shoes, but they this this was a running shoe back in the 1990s, and they call it a lifestyle shoe now. But they can be used for running, and uh, they are available in 6E. Uh, I for tennis I use 6E shoes. For running I use 4E shoes, but that's mainly because I can't get uh, 6E running shoes. Um, for spinning I do use 6E running uh, 6E shoes as well. So uh, New Balance is nice in that um, they have standard D, wide, 2E, extra wide, 4E, and they have a few shoes in 6E. Uh, the sizing for women is different. For women, um, the wide is a D, and the extra wide is a 2E, and the extra, extra wide is a 4E. So. Uh, Yeah, so I, I just stick to New Balance, but there are other brands out there that have extra wide. Uh, you have to look at the toe box shape, the toe box height, the midfoot volume, and the platform to get an idea for fit. It's not just a matter of making sure that it's a wide or an extra wide because definitions change all over the place. Even um, even the same model. Um, I'm currently running in the, uh, this is my primary shoe, the 1080 V10. Oops, that's a woman's. That's a V12. Uh, in the V10, I have to size up. Like my normal size is a nine. Uh, sorry, is an eleven and a half. But I have to wear a twelve in this because it's tight in the midfoot. The toes are okay. The platform is okay, but the midfoot foot is too tight. Now in the V12, they made the toe box wider. They made the toe box taller, and they increased the midfoot volume. So I don't have any problems running in this shoe in my normal 11 and a half size. So these are both 1080s. One is just a V10 and one is a V12. So if you buy a shoe, um, the sizing can change from version to version. So that's another factor. You, uh, you need to uh, try them out or look at shoe reviews to see whether they are true to size and see how they compare to previous models. So that's my take on wide shoes and extra wide shoes and I uh, hope you find that useful.